Hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video in the globe. Welcome to Nana's Classic Stitches channel. If you are new, welcome and thank you for clicking. Thank you to my subscribers and returnees too. Thank you so, so much. I do appreciate it. Thank you for returning and for subscribing. Thank you. And today, we're going to talk about um, our pant. As I said, we're going to do this project next. And um, when you look at the uh, instructions sheet, it gives you everything you need. Everything you need is walking you through if you want to fit yourself with the pattern pieces itself or make a muslin okay everything is in here so work, walking you through step by step step by step step by step and also any problem that you might have with the crotch both the front and the back step by step is walking you through as i said last week it's better to make um a muslin fit before you cut your rear fabric okay and adjust your crotch and all that after this i'll walk you through the measurements or taking the measurements of your pants but i went ahead and did um i did a muslin fit and my mini mannequin okay and this is where I size seam and then the other size seam where I put my zipper but I think I'll put a zipper in the front but this I just put on the side make it easier for me okay that's the front and that's the back so it's good for you to make a um, muslin fit before you, as I said, before you cut your fabric. This way you can adjust any problem that arises. Okay. So now let me take off this fitting muslin. I adjust myself and I walk you through the measurement. Okay. Or taking the measurement. Today I don't know what is happening with me. I'm fumbling everywhere. I'm fumbling everywhere okay hold on give me a minute hello there i'm back depending on the style that you pick as i said i picked this with a pocket okay and if you pick this with a pocket if you're doing any adjustment remember to adjust the pocket too but anyway it's still on the uh, instruction sheet guiding you step by step okay just like we took the baggy pants that we made a couple of uh projects ago okay so the same measurement but there's more so you do your don't make it too tight give yourself a little bit room okay and this is where you have to divide your crotch into two and then subtract one inch from the front and add it to the back okay i think it's project i don't remember project five four or five something like that uh the first plant that we made and then i corrected myself this is this is the plant that you need to subtract one and add it to the back but the other pan that we did i walk you through how to add the one inch at the back okay so watch that video and that will help you you do your crotch you do your waist depending on where you choose to put your waist okay some as i said some people like their pants lower than the uh, natural waistline i like mine at the waist measure your hips okay measure your knee and you decide how 
four you want it to be okay and then measure your let's see let's say this is your uh, i'm not getting it let's say this is your your knee though it's short but let's say this is your knee and then measure your your thigh okay so your waist your crotch your inseam your outseam your thigh and your knee okay and then the width of your fi finish length how wide do you want from the bottom how wide do you want your bottom pan to be okay take that measurement too and then measure your pattern pieces subtract all your seam allowance and then continue from there but your pattern you can also trace use your use your tracing paper to trace uh it doesn't have to be uh where am i it doesn't always have to be tracing paper and tracing well okay you can also trace your your pattern and put in all the seam allowances all the marks on the pattern pieces and then you can use this too instead of always using this just to preserve your pattern pieces as i said before just in case you put on weight uh you lose uh weight and so on and so forth you have all the model sizes for you to work with okay so as i said you can use your tracing paper to trace everything on your tracing um pattern pieces and i think i have I've given you everything the waist the hip the knee the thigh the crotch okay and i think this is it for now did i forget anything i don't think so because instead of me walking you through how to um adjust your pattern and everything the instruction sheet as is walking you through from step to step even if you have smiling faces in the front and if the back doesn't fit good too it it gives you all that step by step step by step okay so go with the instruction sheet it takes time but go step by step step by step and you'll be okay and it will help a lot too if you do a markup with the muslin and then try it on and tie it at the waist and then take it from there okay that also helps a lot okay there we go there i think this uh, this will be the end of the video and then next week we start sewing the pants because so i'll cut all mine and then we start sewing next week okay thank you for watching and i'll see you next week happy sewing and bye bye for now Bye.